Recording is on. All right. Uh, today is Thursday, June 6th. Um, this is Jenkins, GSOC, Jenkins in GSOC office hours. So we're going to do our usual rounds and get updates from our contributors and see what is blocking them um, and what's working well. So I think Sridhar is on. So we will start with you, Sridhar. Yes. So hello, everyone. Hi. So the current state of the project is uh, we just completed the CLI parsing in, in, in day before yesterday, and the PR is being merged in this uh, repo. And currently, I'm just working on the plugin metadata extraction part, which is a core part of the uh, which is a part of the core module. And also, CACD has been enabled for our project. PR is raised by Valentine, uh, I think, yesterday. So, so yeah, so that's in from my side. I'm just currently working on this plugin for data extraction. But... Okay, so everything's going well for you. You have everything you need, no blockage. Yeah, yeah. No blockers noted okay. right now. Good. Uh, Valentine, uh, anything you want to add? No, nothing to add on my side. We have with the, the weekly so no, no blocking okay thank you uh don young yes and uh, this week uh, we uh i add some um, three repo in the um the virtual organization and the two um virtual developer in two and for testing and now i'm trying to um uh, my project project it depends on the the fix file it, it's the individual file so i will change it to the to can it can be to when merge coming and it can be to detect the, the files content and also and the, now my project depends on the for loop the array developers in the file but that's not be true and i need to to focus on the change one because um, if i loop the loop the all developers it should be to add uh, uh, it could add but not to remove someone for disappear from the file so that's all okay and so same question for you um so i do you see that I see that you have the final exam this week? Are you handling it okay in addition to the final exams? Are there any challenges, blockage for you? Yeah, everything's okay. And uh, so this week I have lower progress, but that will be everything will be fine next week. Okay. Yes, as I said to Daniel earlier this week in our weekly meeting, uh, that's not a problem, not being able to do 100% uh, if you have some school homework or, or whatever, as long as we know it ahead of time. So perfectly fine, as long as we know it. Cool. Thanks, Bruno. And so, and other than that, Bruno, from your perspective, progress moving um, along? Any concerns? Always, no, no, no concerns, most I being. Uh, I think there is no blocker. Uh, Dan Young is doing great uh, so far. And now that she will be able to focus 100% uh, of her time uh, on the project, I think uh, we will see interesting things in the coming weeks. Exciting. Sounds good. Yes. Thank you. Uh, do I see Philip on? No, he's not. Um, I think he's. he's I think he's still ill. Mm. Oh, okay. All right, and then Nor. I think she's on either because I think she has a exam. Oh, okay. Either this or next or both weeks. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And so, Chris, I think you're the mentor for that. Any concerns here? Um, I don't think there's any concerns. So far, because I, I think Noah is still doing the collection and uh, some research. Okay. Be like um, as before, but um, on that, like uh, I think she'll be able to catch up soon. Okay. 
Yeah, and she has progressed quite a lot. I would say she gathered already data from Stack Overflow, if I'm not mistaken, from the official Jenkins.io uh, repo and also from the community.jenkins.io, the discourse forum website. Uh, yeah. So that, and she also has uh, generated questions and answers uh, from that material. So, yeah, I'm not a specialist at all on LLM, but the data gathering part is uh, taking shape, I would say. That's pretty encouraging. Yeah, and on top of that, like Bruno taught um, Noah how to use the API to um, to get the, the data from um, this course. So that might help. So, But, but she may need to rework what she already has, though. That's the only concern, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, sounds good. Great teamwork. Uh, Shlomo, do I must? Yeah. It's you. Okay. Do well, I do I need to stop my 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 sharing my screen sharing? No, no, no. It's okay. This this week was just kind of like cleaning up okay. a bunch of the no. code and re refactoring. Yeah. We enjoy no. seeing your <laughs> screen sharing. Yeah. And uh, no no groundbreaking UI changes this week. Oh. No. Next week. Next week. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, just cleaning up some code and refactoring. There's like a bunch of things we needed to fix um, for like in performance improvements and all that stuff. And then we have a meeting tomorrow with Herve finally to discuss like the current workflow for the InfraStats, InfraStats site and like how the data is being generated and pulled in. So once we understand like exactly how that works, then I can start implementing it for the new page. And, and then like, Hopefully that's like the biggest thing right now that we need to work on because like the UI is moving forward, but that's like the biggest roadblock right now. So once we get, fig like figure that out, things should go pretty smoothly. So if I understood correctly, uh, for, the time, from, for the time being, you are uh, gathering data from the existing website, not from an infra data source yeah. or something. Yeah, you are Correct. just yeah grabbing from the existing website and your work is supposed to replace the existing website so you won't be able to grab yourself your data from your exactly. own website so that doesn't make sense that's why we need Hervé we need to know where the data lies the data source yeah. which one is the truth yeah because like I... right now like I think it's like um we may need to update the groovy scripts for fetching or generating data that might uh somewhat widen the scope of the project but it may be a good thing yeah that's my concern too. So like uh, right now we're, we're not really grabbing data from the original website. We're grabbing it from um, its GitHub pages source. But um, I think like for it's like it has different branches and we're grabbing from one branch only. On top of that, like um, the data is kind of like um, we, we try to get from its source, but we couldn't. Because like as always, it's supposed to be a git zip file, but we can get that. So we need to ask Heather about it too. Hmm. Okay. So Irvi isn't as much needed here. Yep. Yes, indeed. Okay. Um. So I don't have anything else on the agenda. Um. Does anybody Bye. else? Yeah, sorry, I have a question for each of the contributors who are there today. Um, I will start with uh, the first on my list. Uh, Danyang, uh, how do you feel after this real week of coding? You know, it, uh, the coding period just started. So how do you feel? Do you feel um, calm, overwhelmed, uh, in panic mode, um, <laughs> or just confident that you will make it? Uh, yes, now I'm confident I will make it. And... Okay. You're not losing yeah. hair. You're not losing sleep. <laughs> not yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. Sridhar, you're the next on my list. Yeah, so at the end of the bonding phase, I just quite I feel less confident that I can complete this on time. But yeah. So I have have more time and my holidays, so I can just do this better and I have a much better confidence that I can complete it in the given time. Thanks. 
שלמה? Yeah, I feel really good about the project so far. I kind of got a head start on the coding, so really good on that. And like we just discussed, just this data part aspect of it is just holding us back a little bit, but I'm confident that we'll get through it this week and we're on, we're on track for a successful project. Okay, that's nice. music to my ears. Thank you. Yeah. I don't have anything else, Lisa. Uh, back to you. Okay, great question. Thanks for that. You're welcome. Okay, um, Chris Valentine, Valentine, <laughs> you sorry. tried. <laughs> sorry, I tried. That's a okay. little poor reason. <laughs> no, 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 I'm gonna no, blame it else. on my morning, my <laughs> early morning. No, nothing on my side. Thank you. Okay, Chris. I Yeah, I just want to add uh, to maybe not not just to the to, to the mentees I'm mentoring, but to um all of the mentees to uh try to take more of an initiative in your own projects, because like sometimes your mentor may not be available even though if they really wanted to say like Alex this week um he's been impacted by some like um flooding, mm -hmm. so I think it's like these things they do happen and sometimes it's out of our control. Uh, so um, if you can, try as best you can to drive the project, not wait until uh, you're told to do what to do before you do something for like in order to progress. Yes, that's a whole different mindset. You're uh, spot on, Chris. Uh, we need you to take some initiatives. We need you to be very communicative. You can't communicate too much. We need to know and somebody will answer someday. So please communicate. And yes, take some initiatives. Uh, test some things don't just get stuck and keep it to yourself please yeah and I, I from my experience with being an org admin in previous years uh, I I mean I remember just people mentors saying it's okay to over communicate so just to re-emphasize what um, Bruno Munch said don't feel you know afraid that you're saying things that don't make sense or you, it's irrelevant, it's better to over communicate. So don't be afraid to do that. And especially, um, you know, use your co-mentors. That's why we have co-mentors. That's why we work so hard to try to get co-mentors. Um, so use them, please. You know, don't be afraid that you have to go directly to your, um, to the lead mentor. Um, Leverage, yep. and, and leverage. Keep things public also. Um, don't ask for mm -hmm. some private meetings or private discussion, whatever. Everything should be public unless you have a real problem in your life that you don't want to share, to share with anybody but the limander, for example. But yes, uh, do things public. There is no such thing as a stupid question. There may be a stupid answer, but no stupid question. And uh, you don't know, that's okay. I don't know either, but we'll find someone who knows. So that's okay. Yeah. All right. Cool, cool. Um, we still have some time left, but uh, if there's nothing else, we can drop and then we'll uh, talk again next week. Fine with me. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Take Lisa. Care. Thank you all. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye -bye. Thank you.